Hello, I would like to introduce to you the process of choosing fixed effects, random effects, or pooled OLS models in panel data analysis. We will show you how to perform step by step on our panel data, from which we published the results in our article on sustainability review in 2019. Panel data, also known as longitudinal or cross sectional time series data, is a data set in which the behaviors of entities are observed across time. These entities could be states, companies, individuals, countries etc. Panel data allows us to control for variables we cannot observe or measure across entities, or variables that change over time but not across entities. Here is our panel data that we used in our article published in 2019. In this sample, ID represents the entities as Vietnam provinces that we code them in number, and year represents the time variable, T. Our panel data includes 434 year observations of 62 provinces as entities of our sample, each province has 7 year observations. This is similar when we observe panel data in Stata or Excel. Note that you should make attention for assuring that all data of one thing such as one entity are coded exactly the same. If not, Stata will count as another thing or ignore it. These data were collected from the statistical yearbooks of Vietnam's provinces during the period from 2010 to 2016, then cleaned by eliminating some missing data provinces and year observations. The objective of our research aims to study the relationship between foreign direct investment and sustainability at provincial level in a developing host country, such as Vietnam in the period between 2010 and 2016. Here are the variables of our research, in which dependent variable is the adjusted net savings that assess the sustainable development of Vietnam provinces. In total, we have 11 independent variables that are distinguished in three groups, including, three variables associated with the FDI inflow stocks, five variables associated with the employment in FDI sector, and three variables associated with the performance of FDI in provinces and two control variables are size and economic growth of province. We introduce now theoretically the fixed effects model, that is used whenever we are only interested in analyzing the impact of variables that vary over time. This model is designed to study the causes of changes within an entity. A time invariant characteristic cannot cause such a change, because it is constant for each entity. Fixed effects model explores the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable within an entity as province in our empirical study. Each entity has its own individual characteristics as independent variables, that may or may not influence the dependent variable. When using fixed effects model, we assume that something within the individual may impact or bias the independent variables, and we need to control for this. This is the rationale behind the assumption of the correlation between entities error term and independent variables. Fixed effects model remove the effect of those time invariant characteristics, so we can assess the net effect of the independent variables on the dependent one. Another important assumption of the fixed effects model is that those time invariant characteristics are unique to the individual, and they should not be correlated with other individual characteristics. Each entity is different therefore the entity's error term and the constant, which captures individual characteristics, should not be correlated with the others. If the error terms are correlated, then fixed effects model is no suitable since inferences may not be correct, and we need to consider the random effects model, this is the main rationale for the Hausman test that we will present later. The equation for the fixed effects model becomes as here. In random effects model, the rationale is that, the variation across entities is assumed to be random and uncorrelated with the independent variables included in the model. Random effects assume that the entity's error term is not correlated with the independent variables, which allow for time invariant variables to play a role as independent variables. If we have reason to believe that differences across entities have some influence on our dependent variable, then we should use random effects. An advantage of random effects is that, we can include time invariant variables, such as superficies of province. In the fixed effects model, these variables are absorbed by the intercept. In random effects, 
we need to specify those individual characteristics that may or may not influence the independent variables. The problem with this is that, some variables may not be available therefore leading to omitted variable bias in the model. And the pooled OLS model is the linear regression. Pooled data occur when we have a time series of cross sections, but the observations in each cross section do not necessarily refer to the same unit. In panel data, pooled OLS model can be used to derive unbiased and consistent estimates of parameters even when time constant attributes are present, but random effects model will be more efficient. Fixed effects model is a feasible generalized least squares technique, which is asymptotically more efficient than pooled OLS when time constant attributes are present. Random effects model adjusts for the serial correlation which is induced by unobserved time constant attributes. For a panel data, we must justify our model choice among three ones of pooled OLS model, random effects model, and fixed effects model. The process of selecting the regression model for panel data is discussed in researches of Doherty and Torres Reina as depicted in this figure. Specifically, the process begins with considering whether the observations are a random sample from a given population, that is a subset of individuals randomly selected by researchers to represent an entire group as a whole. In this first step, if these observations are a random sample, we perform the next step, otherwise we use fixed effects model as the final decision. In case of random sample, we continue the second step by performing both fixed effects and random effects models, then we compare these models by using the Hausman test, also known as the Durbin-Wu-Hausman or DWH test, where the null hypothesis is that the preferred model is random effects versus the alternative the fixed effects. It basically tests whether the unique errors are correlated with the regressors, the null hypothesis is they are not. So, if the Hausman test indicates significant differences in the coefficients, final choice consists in using fixed effects model. In contrast for the third step, the Lagrange multiplier is used to decide if the random effect model, or the pool OLS model is suitable for the research. The null hypothesis in such LM test is that variances across entities is zero. This is no significant difference across units. Specifically, if LM test indicate the presence of random effects, random effects model will be chosen, otherwise pooled OLS model will be our final decision. Now, we apply the process presented above by choosing regression model for our panel data of Vietnam provinces. For the first step, our sample can be considered as random sample because of our choice in time span and FDI sector at provincial level in Vietnam. So, we go into the second step of the process of choosing regression model for panel data, in which we perform both fixed effects and random effects regressions by using STATA. Before running fixed and random effects models, you need to set STATA to handle panel data by using the command XT set. Type the command here. Note that STATA distinguishes capital letters, so you must type exactly the variable name. Or you can click this command on the STATA's menu by avoiding typing errors. In this case, ID represents the entities that is Vietnam provinces, and year represents the time variable. As the panel data has been handled, we can now run the fixed effects model by using the STATA command XT rate with dependent variable ANS and 13 variables, including 11 independent ones and 2 control variables in our panel data. Type the command here. Note that the option phase should be chosen for the fixed effects model. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors.
To compare the results with random effects model that will be performed later, we must now save the estimates with fixed effects regression by using the command estimates store fixed. Type the command here and enter. Then, we run the random effects model by using the stata command xt reg with the same variables by choosing the option re. Type the command here and enter. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. Also, we save the estimates by using the command estimates store random by typing the command here and enter. For comparing fixed and random effects models, we perform now the Hausman test by typing Hausman fixed random. Type the command here and enter. The negative sign can arise if different estimates of the error variance are used in forming variance of B and variance of capital B. In that case of negative value of 918.16, we need to use the sigma more option, which specifies that, both covariance matrices are based on the same estimated disturbance variance from the efficient estimator. Type here the Hausman test with the sigma more option, then enter. By focusing on the results of this Hausman test, we determine whether there are significant differences in the coefficients. And this significant Hausman test allow us to accept the null hypothesis, by indicating that the fixed effects model is appropriate. By caution, it is necessary to test the presence of random effects by using Briusk Pagan Lagrange multiplier. Type here the XT test 0, then enter. We can see that, the result of this test is significant by indicating random effects and refusing the pooled OLS model. As the Hausman test has eliminated the random effects model, and Lagrange multiplier has refused the pooled OLS model. We select with confidence now fixed effects 1. We must check the heteroscedasticity test for the selected fixed effects model by using the command xt test 3. This is a user written program, to install it type, ssc install xt s3. Because, status stored recently the results of random effects model, we rear on the fixed effects regression. Then run heteroscedasticity test. The null is homoscedasticity. And our significant test rejects the null by indicating that, our fixed effects model has a heteroscedasticity problem. Hence, we use the option robust to correct for this regression model, by typing the XT reg with two options robust and fe. Type the command here and enter. Or you can click this command on the status menu by avoiding typing errors. Finally, the robust fixed effects model is used for assessing the proposed research hypotheses in our research. We explain here some basic indicators on the screen. For our empirical research, the results of fixed effects regression indicate that, three first independence variables related to FDI, and one control variable that is the size of province, have significant impacts on the dependent variable, that is the sustainability of Vietnam provinces. If your final choice is random effects model, the explications are almost the same, you can see in our other video focusing on random effects regression. We finish here the presentation. Thanks for your views and subscription to our channel. And see you in the next video.